okay let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that determine the tensions in cable a b a c and a d right so here is a hanging weight so it has a mass of 120 kg and we are required to determine the tension in these three cables right so first of all we have to define our coordinate system right so let's say that my origin is located here right this is my x y and z direction and this is my origin right so now uh, as we can see that the tension in this AB cable will be from A to B and similarly the tension in AC will be from A to C and similarly this will be the tension direction and the weight will be acting downward in the negative x direction since this is our positive x direction right. So first of all we will find we will represent all these tensions in a vector representation right in i, j and k form right. So let's say this is T, A, B this one is T A C and this is T A D right so let me write T A B vector this will be equal to T A B magnitude times the unit vector and A B right and the unit vector will be A B vector divided by A B magnitude and this will be equal to T A B and a b vector right so from a to b first we have to travel how much distance this 2.5 meter distance in the positive x direction right so i will write plus 2.5 i and then we need to travel how much distance this much distance in the negative y direction right so this much distance is 0.5 meters so i will write minus 0 0.5 meters and then to reach that point B, we have to travel this much distance along the Z direction, right? So this distance is 1.5 meters, right? So we will write plus 1.5 K. And then the magnitude of this vector is 2.5 square plus 0, minus 0 0.5 square will become plus 0.5 square, right? And then this will be plus 1.5 square and then we will take the square root, right? When we solve this magnitude, so this magnitude is equal to approximately 2.96, right? So if we divide each of these components by 2.96, this is minus 0 0.5 along j, right? So then this TAB vector will be equal to, so this will be TAB 0 0.845i minus 0 0.169 j plus 0 0.507 k right so this is our t a b vector now we will find t a c vector so t a c vector will be t a c into its unit vector and its unit vector will be a c divided by a c magnitude and now we will write T A C and that A C vector. So now to reach that uh, point C from A, first we need to travel how much distance? So this 2.5 meters distance in the positive x. So I will write plus 2.5 i. And then we need to travel 1.25 meter distance along the y direction, right? So then once we reach this origin, then we need to travel this distance. So that distance is 1.25. So I will write plus 1.25j and since as we can see that this point C is in the y z plane so there is no need to travel in the z direction right this is in the this point C is lying on the y axis is right. So then we there is no need to travel in the z direction right so we will write plus 0k and then to find this magnitude this will be 2.5 square plus 1.25 square and then we will take square root so this magnitude comes out to be this is 2.80 and when we divide all of these components by 2.80 so then this TAC vector is TAC into 0.893 J plus 0.446 this one is i and that one is j right so this is i and this is j now we will find that uh, tad vector right so let me write tad 
so T A D will be T A D magnitude into its unit vector unit vector will be A D vector divided by A D magnitude T A D and now we we will reach that point D from A right so to reach that point D first we need to travel again this 2.5 meters distance in the positive x direction so I will write plus 2.5 and then once I reach this point right once I reach this point so then I need to travel how much distance so then I need to travel this much distance in the z direction right so this is in the negative z direction so we will write minus 2k and then we need to travel this distance in the negative y direction right so this distance is 0 0.5 so we will write minus 0 0.5j and then we will find its magnitude so this is 2.5 square plus 0 0.5 square plus 2 square and this magnitude is 3.24 right so this is approximately 3.24 so when we divide all these components by 3.24 so this TAD vector is TAD into 0 0.772i minus 0 0.154 j minus 0 0.617 k right and the weight is acting vertically downward right so this is the weight direction so this weight is 120 into 9.81 so this is approximately 1177 newtons right and this weight is acting in the negative x direction this is our positive x direction so it is acting in the negative x direction so if we represent that vector w right so that will be its magnitude is 177 newton and it is acting in the negative x so we will write minus i right so now if i add up all the forces in the z direction if we sum all the components in the z direction that is equal to zero if we apply this equilibrium condition so now as we can see that this tab has one component in the z direction so we will write 0 0.507 tab right all of these components are multiplied with this tab magnitude right so we will write 0 0.507 tab and then this tac has no component in the k direction right in the z direction similarly this has one component in the z direction right so we will write minus 0 0.617 tad and this will be equal to 0 so from this we get tab in terms of tad 1.22 tad right if we bring this to the other side of equation and then divide uh, that term by this 0.507 so we will get this right so tab is equal to 1.22 TAD similarly if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0 so now we will add up all the components that are acting in this X direction right so this is 0 0.845 TAB then this one 0 0.893 so I will write plus 0 0.893 TAC and then this one 0 0.7 this is plus 0 0.772 TAD and then we will write this weight is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus 177 and this will be equal to 0 so now let's say that this is our equation A so from equation A TAB is equal to 1.22 TAD so we can substitute the TAB in this equation right so we can write that this equation is 0 0.845 into TAB so this is 1.22 TAD right now if we multiply this 0 0.845 into 1.22 so then this is equal to 1.03 so we will write it as 1.03 TAD and now we can add up this 1.03 and this 0.772 so if we add up this so this is 1.02 eight zero T A D plus zero point eight nine three T A C and we can bring this to the other side of equation so this will become plus 
1177 let's say this is equation b right and now if we divide whole this equation b by this 1.80 so then this will be t a d and this will be plus 0 0.893 divided by 1.80 t a c and this will be divided by 1.80 now when we simplify this so then uh, let's say this is our equation b now if we add up all the forces in the y direction and equate it equal to zero right so this since this is the equilibrium condition so now we will add up uh, all the y components right so this is minus 0 0.169 tab then this component is plus 0 0.446 tac and similarly this one this is minus 0 0.154 tad and this will be equal to 0 right so again this, this from this equation tab is 1.2 to tad so i can write that this is minus 0 0.169 so you will write minus 0 0.169 into tab so tab is 1.22 tad and now we can add up both of these tad terms right so this will be we can take tad common so this will be minus 0 0.169 into 1.22 minus 0 0.154 plus 0 0.446 tac equals to 0 and now if we divide this whole equation by 0 0.360 so we will get we can write that as minus tad and this will be plus and 0 0.446 divided by 0.36 gives us 1.239 right so i will write 1.239 tac and this is equal to 0 and let's say this is equation c now if we add equation b and c right so let me write it this is minus tad plus 1.239 tac and this is equal to 0 so if we add up both of these equations so this will cancel out right and this will be 1.735 tac equals to 653.89 so from this tac equals to approximately 376 newton right and now from this equation b right if we use this equation b so this will give us tad right so from this equation b tad will be equal to this 653.89 minus 0 0.496 tac and now tac is 376 newton right so from this tad comes out to be approximately 467 newton right so this is tad and now once we know tad we can substitute this value in this equation a so that will give us tab magnitude so tab equals to 1.22 into tad which is approximately 467 newtons so from this tab is approximately 569 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem